Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to cover a totally different set of topics now. We're going to talk about solving what we call a system of equations, and we're going to use the method of graphing. So you're going to find out that there's a few different ways to solve what we call a system of equations. I'll explain what that is in a minute. And here we're going to use graph paper to figure it out, but we'll have other methods that you'll, you won't need any graph paper down the way. This is going to be the first one, the first method that we're going to use. Um, so by now you should be able to graph things. Specifically, you should be able to graph lines really, really easily. Um, so when we have what we call a system of equations, basically all it means is we have two equations. And when we solve it by graphing, the punchline here is basically we graph both lines, and wherever the lines cross, that's what we call the solution to the system of equations, because it's the common point common to both of the lines. It's better to explain all of this with an example. What if you're given two equations, two lines, the first one is y is equal to x, and the second one is y is equal to 6 minus x. And we're given this, and we're told that this is a system of equations. When you have two equations, here we have two equations, and two unknowns, x and y, x and y, we have two different unknowns, and we want to figure out the solution. That means we want to figure out where these lines cross. That's the common point between them. That's the solution to this system of equations. So we need to graph it. Now this one's really easy to graph. This one I want to rewrite a little bit. Instead of 6 minus x, I want to write it as negative x plus 6 because I always want to write it as mx plus b. In this case, b is 6, and it's just a little easier to graph it. This one is already in a form that we can graph because it's mx plus b. So in this case, the slope was equal to 1. That's whatever is in front of the x here. And the y-intercept is 0. And in this case, the slope is negative 1 and the y-intercept is equal to 6. So you don't have to create a table of values to plot these. You can just use all the graphing techniques that we've used in the past. So let's go ahead and figure this guy out. The y-intercept is 0, uh, so that means we put a dot right there, the line. That line passes through that point. And the slope is equal to 1, which means rise over run is equal to the number 1. That means you rise 1 and you run 1. Rise, run rise, run. Each time you're doing it one time, the rise over run is 1. <laughs> That's kind of hard to say. Anyway, we'll start from this point, rise over 1 equal positive 1, and we'll put a dot right here at this intersection. And now we have two points, so we can easily draw the first line and see what that line looks like. And it goes just like this. All right, so now we have the first line. Now what we want to do is graph the second line and figure out where they cross. And wherever they cross, that's going to be the common point between the two lines. That's the what we call the solution to the system of equations. We're looking for that common point common to both graphs. So the y-intercept is 6, positive 6. So we'll go up to positive 6 and draw a line right through there. And then the in this case, the slope is negative 1, which you can write it as negative 1 over 1. Right? So what you have here is a rise of negative 1 and a run of positive 1. So negative 1 rise means you go down and then over 1, down, over 1, down, over 1. So the next point is going to be this guy right here. So our second point is going to be here, rise down 1 and run over to the right 1 unit. And then once I have the two points in place, I can get a straight edge, put it through here, and then draw to the best of my ability through both of those points. Ah, that's not really good. Let's try again. To, to catch and draw a nice line through there. So that's not exactly right. Whenever you're graphing, uh, it's a manual process. You do the best you can, but there's gonna be a little bit of error. But what you're looking for is where do these lines cross? And you can see it crosses right here. One, two, three, and positive one, two, three. So what you say then to find the answer, what you circle on your paper is three comma three is the solution. In other words, where x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 3 is right here at the intersection point. We say that this intersection point is the solution at 3, 3. And so you're doing it graphically, and that's what you would circle under test, and that would be the correct answer. All right, so let's go and do one more, and you'll get the hang of it as we move along here. What if we're given the system of equations that looks like y is equal to negative x plus 2, and y is equal to 2x plus 5. Now these are already in a nice form, mx plus b, mx plus b, so I can just write everything down. The slope of this guy is negative 1. The y-intercept of this guy is 2. The slope of this guy is 2. The y-intercept of this guy is 5. If you're not sure where I'm getting these numbers from, go back and look at all the 
the lessons I did on graphing uh, functions and graphing lines because that it comes straight out of there. We did lots of examples here. So let's focus on graphing this one. The y-intercept is 2, so that means we're up here. Now if this were a positive slope, it would be rise over run, run one, uh, 1 over 1, but since it's negative, we're, ri we're going to rise down and over 1, down and over 1. We've talked about that many times, so here's the second point uh, there. All right, so I just, <clears throat> I just grab a straight edge and do my best to draw a line more or less through these points. Not going to be perfect, but pretty close. And then we do the same thing over here. We say the y-intercept of this guy is positive 5, so we have a, a dot right here on this 5. And here, the slope is positive 2, which means we rise up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. So our next point we can choose is this guy. And so I will choose blue. Up 2 over 1 will be this guy right here. And then I grab a straight edge and go between these two points, and it's going to look something more or less like this. And this is the second line, and it's the same sort of exercise. We're looking for an intersection point. Notice that that dot is right here, negative 1, comma, positive 3. So we write it as negative 1, comma, positive 3 is the solution. And this is what you would solve. So anytime you're asked to solve a system of equations by graphing, you're going to do the same thing every single time. All you do is you graph one equation, graph the other equation, and you look for the intersection point wherever it is, that's what you use, and that's what you circle as your solution. This point is a solution to the system of equations because it is the only point common to both of these equations, where x and y are common to both of these equations, which you can see graphically here, and that's why we call it a solution. So make sure you understand this. There's actually quite a lot of uses for solving these sorts of systems of equations in real life when you solve real problems. So this kind of thing is something that you're going to use in real life over and over again, believe it or not. Um, so make sure you understand it. Follow me on to the next section. We'll get a little more practice with solving equations, systems of equations, by graphing.